can you tell us a little bit about the process behind your designs here? Okay, all of them are original designs and they're made from polymer clay. Polymer clay is a synthetic clay that comes in all these colors and it bakes in a regular oven. So what I do is I hand sculpt all of them, bake them, I paint them first and then I bake them. So what I do is I usually make six of the same thing at a time so I can assort the hair colors and hairstyles. So what people really like to do is collect them for people in their family, whatever they've done, like soccer, baker, policeman, you know, whatever they're doing. And so I have customers that come back every year with a new thing that their family members have done and it represents them. Well, it's really such a unique avenue to get into. How did you start creating these? or What's the evolution of an artist to, to create something like this? Well, this is this kind of an interesting story. I was a marketing major and have an MBA, and my father kept saying, I sent you to college to do this, but it was a hobby. And I lived in Chicago, and I'm one of five children, and my husband's one of seven, and we had huge Christmases with everybody there. And we moved here in late October, and I didn't know very many people, and I thought, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? We're not going home for Christmas. So I made really elaborate ornaments for everybody in the family. And then my neighbors that I had just met, and I made them for the teachers and the soccer coaches and all those people in town. Everybody seemed to like them, and they started asking me to make it for them. At first, I was giving them away. And they said, oh, no, my brother-in-law wants to give it to his boss. And so next thing I knew, I thought, well, maybe I can do this. We owned businesses in Chicago, and we were you know, really entrepreneurs and worked a zillion hours. And so I couldn't find anybody that would pay me to do it. I thought I was worth here working part-time, so I started doing this and it worked and that's kind of how it evolved from a hobby. I'm like one of those little magazine ads, turn your hobby into a business. Kathleen, what, um, what goes into making these ornate booths that you guys host all your, your beautiful art in? Uh, well, it's a lot of work. Uh, I've been doing this show since uh, 1977. And then, of course, the Christmas show uh, in the be from the beginning of that, um, uh, but it takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears <laughs> to put this together. But you do it because you love it. I'm here with Lauren Chapman, expert glass blower at the Sawdust Festival. I know it's glass blowing, but a lot of people miss the fact that you're actually blowing into a pipe to expand the glass. How does that whole process work? Well, you're basically trying to trap air into the pipe and then the heat of the glass and heats up the air in the pipe and, and wants to make it escape so it goes out and blows the bubble out. How does one get into a, a hobby or an art like this? Uh, I picked it up in a little art school up in Santa Barbara and, uh, in 1970 and then came down to Cal State Fullerton, got my master's degree in 75 in art with an emphasis in glass, and I've been doing this show since 1974. So we caught Daryl Lynn in the act. What brought you out? It's your first time. What brought you out, and what do you think of it? Well, I, it's been uh, more work probably than I thought, but it's been exciting. And once we got the booth and the paintings up, things really started to get exciting. So um, it's been wonderful. The people are great. The other artists are so welcoming and give advice and you know kind of help us through all the different um, stages to get ready. But once we got it going, it's just it's just been fun. I'm here with Nina Leone. I have Callie, and who's this little one you This is Honey. She's a Japanese silky hen. Can you tell us a little bit of, about the importance of uh, having a petting zoo here? It seems a little out of place. Um, this is Zumar's Petting Zoo, and we're from San Juan Capistrano. But we have many friends up here in Laguna that enjoy coming down to San Juan. Um, and about four or five years ago, the owner, Carolyn Franks, was approached to come do a version of Zoomars up here at the Sawdust Festival for the Winter Fantasy. Um, and so we've been up here for the last four years um, with our animals. We bring guinea pigs, um, bunnies, and some hens or roosters. People are welcome to come in and pet and feed the animals up close and personal. Um, and everybody receives tickets to go visit Zoomars at a later date. Well, hey guys, that's a wrap. It's been a blast today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Hopefully we'll see you here later this season. Don't forget, there's always the Summer Sawdust Festival as well. Signing off for ID8 TV, I'm Katie Widener.